requires a firm foundation. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. So then, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. As we talk about the seven steps to exercising faith in God, we've said that faith is based on a desired outcome. Faith requires a desired outcome is step one. Step two, faith requires a firm decision that you settle in your heart. This is what God wants me to have. And thirdly, faith requires a firm foundation, which is the word of God itself. Romans 10, 17 says that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. The word of God is faith's firm foundation. The word of God is what ignites faith. It is what births faith. It's the word of God that sustains faith, that undergirds faith, that keeps our faith strong. So in order for us to have strong faith, it must be based on God's written word or a word that God has spoken to you. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the rhema of God. The word rhema there in, in the Greek is very interesting. It's different from the logos. The Logos is, is, you know, for the entirety of Scripture, you can call it the Logos. It's, it's God's Word, but it's different from the Rhema. The Rhema is a quickened word. It's a personalized word. It's a word that's come alive to you, a specific word that God has spoken. So God may have quickened a Scripture or Scriptures from the Logos, from the written Word, that He quickens it to you and says, this is the Word. This is what you're holding on to towards that goal that you're going after, towards that undergirds the firm decision that you have made. And then that rhema is what undergirds your faith. Sometimes God may actually speak to you a specific word as you wait on God concerning a certain situation, certain uh, thing in your life that you want to know what is the mind of God. God speaks to you and He says, look, this is what I'm going to do in your life. A very specific word. That becomes your rhema because God has spoken that to you. Now, we have to understand that faith is based on the Word of God. The Word, the written Word of God, which then undergirds our faith. And if God may give you a specific Word, it should, of course, be aligned to the written Word. It can't be something that's off the written Word. But ultimately, we come back to God's written Word, which undergirds our faith. So if you're having faith in God for healing of your sickness, a healing of your body. If you're having faith in God for uh, a, a need to be met, it could be a financial need, it could be some other need. If you're believing God, having faith in God for a promotion in your workplace, maybe for uh, an unsaved family member to be saved, maybe for a, a situation to be resolved and changed, maybe for uh, a problem to be resolved and say, change. Whatever you are having faith in God for, you have a desired outcome. You make a firm decision that you're going to go after that particular need or area of your life. Thirdly, you get the Word of God concerning that matter. So if it's concerning healing, take the Word of God concerning healing. He has promised to heal us. He said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. He said in His Word, I uh, he forgives our sins. He heals us of all our diseases. So you go after those scriptures and you meditate in that. You fill your heart with that word because your faith is based on the word. Faith requires a firm foundation and it is God's word that is foundation for faith. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, even as we learn to exercise faith, as we learn how to use the faith you've put in our hearts, we pray that we will grow in this, O oh God, that we will learn to fill our hearts with your word so that we can be people of strong faith in you. Thank you, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.